Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. I'm T-Captain X. If your goal is to get better at Rebirth Island Warzone by being able to get more kills, improve your KD ratio, and just win more games, then you came to the right place. I like to break down the various skills of Warzone into three main categories, aiming, movement, and game sense. Now, aiming and movement are a little bit more straightforward in terms of practicing. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Now, I've got a detailed aim guide video on my channel that I highly recommend you guys check out if you haven't already. And I'm planning on doing a dedicated movement guide video in the near future but game sense or the mental aspect of warzone is a little bit more complex and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video is the decision making positioning knowing when to push versus when to reset a fight and much more now in my opinion one of the best ways to really force yourself to improve your game sense and make better decisions is to put yourself in a tough situation this applies for life in general, but for Warzone, the best way to do this is to play outnumbered. You can do this by either splitting off a bit from your teammates or just by playing modes like solo versus duos, solo versus trios, etc. And with the dynamic respawn timer, it's super nice playing solo like this because if you die, you still respawn like solos resurgence, even though you weren't technically playing solos, which is great for practice in case you die. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down a high kill solo versus trios game on Rebirth Island where I am fighting stacking teams by myself and because of my decision making i'm able to pull off a great win so dropping in here i am going to be landing at control center and control center is one of my personal favorite areas because there's just a lot of loot a lot of ways to get load out very quickly it tends to be a hotter drop so if you're a newer player it may not be the best area to go but if you're looking to get practice and get experience control is also another great area now quick tip when you're landing in at these places, no matter where you're going, I would really recommend you guys try to avoid landing on the rooftop. The rooftops tend to be extremely high and it can be a little bit of just like a 50-50 of winning a pistol fight. Instead, landing near the bottom, you can get more loot, get plates, get all sort of situated up here and ready to go. Now, one quick thing I wanna point out that I just did there as I um, looted this box is you're gonna see, this is just, it's an annoying thing with the gas mask is I don't like wearing the gas mask because it blocks. So just hold down on the d-pad and you're going to stow it into your inventory um just that way you don't have to deal with that annoying gas mask you can then open up your inventory later and put it on now at this point i'm starting to hear people above me i'm hearing shots above me i don't know are, if they're on this top floor or are they on the roof but notice as i'm coming up these stairs notice how my crosshair is centered at the top here in case somebody is there Trying to get better ground loot here. Notice how I am slide canceling around corners. Whenever I come around a corner, I'm slide canceling around with good centering here. See, as I slide cancel through the door, my crosshair is centered at the top of the steps in case somebody is there. Now, this door is closed. I am 100% hearing audio cues that people are just on the other side of this door. But I also have a portable radar. I throw down the portable radar here, and you're going to see I get two pings on my level right next to each other. So the reason I know they're on my level verdict from a verticality standpoint is that there is just a solid dot. See how over here there's an up arrow? That means he's above me. If there was a down arrow, that means they're at least a floor below you. So... I know I'm outnumbered here. If I just full send it out this door and try to hit some crazy shots, do some crazy movement, I might win, but my chances are much lower doing that. So instead, I'm just gonna wait because I'm assuming they probably heard me and they're just waiting to see if I'm gonna push here. Now, I hear that loot box open. I know from experience there's a loot box that usually spawns right outside this door. So notice how we open the door but I don't go full sending out. We have one player right in front of me and notice how I'm gonna stop and shoot and actually back up. We hit a little drop shot, we back up and we immediately go away because I wanna be able to reload here. Now, luckily I did not take any damage here, but I don't wanna put myself in an outnumbered fight. The whole thing when you're fighting outnumbered is to isolate these fights into 1v1s as best you can. So we side cancel into the doorway, pre-aiming pre where someone might be. We're gonna do the same thing up here. We're gonna side cancel, pre-aim, and he's waiting for me. But because I came around the corner, anticipating a player might be, might, might be there, I'm able to get uh, that down without taking too much damage. Now, my portable raider destroyed, but earlier I definitely heard someone landing in. I also saw a third UAV that was pinging with an up arrow. So that would likely mean that, that, that probably their third teammate was landing in. So I'm expecting their third teammate to be up here. So again, we pre-aim and he's just trying to play it slow. Ends up being a pretty easy team wipe because we were able to isolate all those fights down into 1v1s. Now, at this point, I've got my loadout money. So when you're playing solo, it's $7,500 to buy a loadout. 
very, very important that we get loadout down as fast as possible. That should be your number one priority because not one, we want to obviously have our loadout guns. The ground loot in Rebirth is, it's okay depending on what you get, but you want to make sure you have those good guns that have bigger magazines so you can take on full teams. Also having throwing knives when you're playing outnumbered is crucial. That way you can get those finishes without having to waste more ammo and reload if so you're not ready to take on the next guy. Now, normally if I had more money, I'd want to buy a UAV or a portable radar, but I only have uh, $1,600, so I'm just gonna push up. I don't know where anyone is really. I'm not hearing gunshots. I don't have UAV pings. Um, so we're gonna go push up to high ground here where I can get a bird's eye view kind of from the top of prison. Yes, trying to figure out where people are. Doesn't seem like anybody's up on prison. We're just gonna keep going. Now, looking at my mini map, I see a bunch of uh, red dots pinging below me here, okay? So I know they're down below me in prison. I'm gonna drop down. All of these slats have an area to drop down, but I'm particularly dropping down here because this is going to land me on the second floor. Whenever possible, you want to be able to try to keep high ground, and I don't want to drop right down on the bottom floor right into the mix in case they're all down there. So when you drop down, we do see one player right here in front of me. I already have my long-range gun out here. Now, I get a live ping. If you watch my hand cam, something that I do pretty well, and that's just because from experience and practice, is watch when I drop down, watch my uh, left thumb is how quickly I'm gonna hit this up on the D-pad. So bam, we hit a super quick. Now, if you you could change your, uh, your key binds or whatever for your controller so that you can do a bumper ping, which is L1, or if you have paddles, you could assign a paddle to ping, but live pinging in this game is so crucial because because I have this guy live pinged, I know when he is scooting out and I can kind of start to pre-fire this guy. So this guy scoots out just a little bit thinking he's safe, I'm able to get the down here. So we're gonna move up, reload here, and I'm gonna look at the direction that he was shooting. This guy was obviously shooting this way and there is an enemy sitting right here at the stairwell. Now I have to prone down to get a better angle here and now I see there's two people. So as soon as I know there's two people, I know, okay, we have to play this smart. I can't just full send. Even though I broke an armor and I got shots on another guy, I'm outnumbered. I can't full send. The, but as I come back here, look, here's this guy's laser. This is, uh, I believe, the Kamura laser. It's a great attachment. It gives you a lot of benefits, but it is super easy to see. So because of this, I can side cancel and aggressively kind of challenge knowing there's that guy there. Again, we see we get the live ping and we see him run off. Now... The big thing is you don't want to keep repeating uh, challenging someone from the same angle or from the same spot. Always try to take a different angle because the enemy is just, they're, they're going to think you're going to come back from the same spot. Change it up. As I come around to a new angle, again, you can see that laser here. So what are we going to do? I'm going to pre-aim right where that laser is coming from. And even though the guy's mounted up waiting on me, he just didn't realize I was moving up. Now let's look at the UAV here. We're going to get a arrow or an up arrow on this guy to my right. And then this guy, it looks like, I think he has a down arrow there. It's kind of hard to see here. So his teammates probably right Dude, below him. Squad. So we reload here. And as I'm peeking, I'm, I had that down arrow. So I'm thinking his teammate is probably right here in the stairwell. But as I go out a little bit farther, you're gonna end up seeing there's actually a guy right here sitting in the window. So I'm not sure if this guy was maybe on a different team or maybe I just read that mini map wrong and it wasn't a down arrow. But as soon as I see him, I don't know if this guy's already aiming at me. So as soon as I notice him, get away. Get away and reset. Now I have the ability to aggressively challenge this. So we're gonna use a little bit of movement. We're gonna side cancel in, side cancel. I'm also gonna mount a live ping. The live ping makes it a little bit easier to try to shoot him to the wall after he's downed. There we go. And so that guy definitely must have been a, a different team now that I realize it, because his teammates are pinging way on a different end. So I've got an uh, uh, arrow behind me that is on my level because there's no up or down arrow. So that means he's on this second level of the, of the prison with me. So I go into the cell here. Now somebody else just pushed in here. So this things get a little bit hairy here. So let me rewind this. Side cancel, we get the down as we move up here. Start getting shot in the back so we go in the cell, but then a guy just popped out right here. 
Now, I have multiple teams around me. I am in a bad situation here. This is where smokes can bail you out. So I always run smoke grenades. We throw the smoke straight down, let it go. As soon as the smoke goes, use it to reposition and get out of there and, cav and, and lose sight of the enemy. Enemies are so now, the I'm area. trying to see if this guy is going to start chasing me and pushing me. And now I'm getting shot in the back right behind me. God. I don't have any more smokes at this point. So now I'm not in a good spot here. I try to challenge, see if he's there. I'm going to throw plates on. An enemy squad I don't know if you saw he is. He was sitting there pre-aiming. So I try to go out. Now, he is kind of playing cat and mouse game with me. He's being smart, and he's not just sitting there and rechallenging from the same spot over and over. But notice, now I'm going to switch to my SMG. I'm using the Renetti. It's super broken. Hopefully, it's nerfed by the time I post this video. But notice how my centering is spot on, right? If he were to peek out of there, I am already aimed right where he would be. He doesn't. Again, notice how I'm slide canceling around almost every corner and I start to center my crosshair down the lane of where an enemy is most likely going to be. He's he's not there, but then I hear an audio cue behind me. So we turn around. Now, I if you notice, I didn't know if that guy saw me, so I went back to cover. I aggressively challenged out again, but now he's starting to run away. So he most likely he did not see me during this process. So now I can know I can just come around here and wait for him to come right towards me. Now, again, eyes go to the minimap. I cannot stress this enough. When you are getting downs and kills in Rebirth Island and Resurgence, you have to train your eyes to go straight to the minimap in the top left here because you get so much valuable information. I'm going to get two pings that are on my level because there's no arrows up or down. So I know they are probably going to be right over somewhere over here, and I'm looking for them. Don't see them, but I'm just playing patient here. I'm slowing down here. Now, I... Why did I start running this way? I clearly heard audio cues running around or com coming from behind me. I don't want to get pinched, so I want to pick a direction and go because I don't want to just sit in between two teams here. But again, notice how I am side canceling around almost every corner. And when I do, I'm trying to have my crosshair centered down the lane of where any enemy would be. My centering is not perfect here, but it's pretty dang close to I don't have, it's pretty easy for me to fix my aim. Hit a little drop shot because that guy's caught in the middle of a sprint, ends up being a pretty easy kill. Now we've got the occupation scan going right here. In case you're new to the game, occupation scans, you have to be proned during when the scan goes off and then you won't appear on the minimap. If you were not proned, see all these guys appearing on the minimap up here? They were not proned, so they're, they're gonna be in the minimap for the next 10, 15, 20 seconds. Now, I was hearing some audio, and right now, I'm clearly hearing an audio cue of someone climbing a ladder. That is what a ladder sounds like. I know from game experience there is a ladder right outside of the map here. But now I just heard someone to my left, if you heard that sliding motion. So again, slide, we're, we're pre-aiming down where I think an enemy might be coming from. We take high ground back, trying to... I'm just playing slow here. I'm not running around with my, my head cut off. And then bam, this guy comes out. He's in the middle of looting. Pick up an easy kill here. Now we do get a ripple ping here, and I want to talk about what the ripple pings mean. So see how there's like these, these ripples, like raindrops that are coming out on the minimap? Usually what this means, this, this is a little bit different than how it functioned in Warzone 1. In Warzone 1, this would mean there was a ghosted player here. In Warzone 3, this means that their teammate had last died there. It's kind of... I think dumb? I, I don't know if it's, it's that mechanic is intended, but then all of a sudden... This guy now appears here and starts pinging with a down arrow. So maybe they did just recently change it. Maybe I'm learning this as we do this video. I don't know, but maybe this player was ghosted and because he stopped moving, he is appearing. But that's how it was functioning just before this update, at least. So I know there's a player down low over here. So we're going to work back over, over here and we're just going to sit. I'm waiting to see, is he going to... Is he going to pop out from over here? Notice how I'm pre-aiming, playing nice and slow, and here he comes. Completely doesn't see me. We get an easy kill on him. Again, another ghost ripple ping over here. Sometimes there's a player there. Sometimes there's not. It just, I, to me, I think it's it's bugged, to be honest, but I'm really not 100% sure. So, again, we've been in the same area for the last several minutes here. The big thing I want to highlight is notice how I'm not just, like, running around like crazy. I'm not just, like, full sprinting in teams. I'm in the action but I'm slowing down around the action, if that makes sense. That's one of my biggest tips I would say is, if you wanna get higher kill games especially, you, you have to put yourself in the action, but the mistake I see too many people make is they're just like, okay, I gotta get high kill games. I'm just gonna full sprint into this building where there's a full team sitting. That's what you cannot do. Now, hear the beeping. 
I am running the flex perk. The reason I'm running the flex perk and not high alert is the audio and rebirth has not been great. There has been a lot of inconsistencies with it. Sometimes you hear footsteps great. Other times you get literally nothing. Flex helps a little bit with that, but it also beeps when en enemy equipment is down. And this includes claymores and prox mines. And both of these got buffed in the last update. So we again slide cancel in here. My centering is a little bit off. Notice how I'm playing nice and slow. I started to hear footsteps to my right and this guy is running by. But I don't know if you saw, there was actually an enemy also on the stairwell here. And this is a little bit of a mistake I make. And I want to break this down and point out that I make mistakes in these gameplays too here. So there's actually going to be a guy. Uh, let's see if I can pause on it. There he is. There's a guy coming up right here as I started aiming to the right because I was hearing an audio cue. So I instantly know, okay, I am in a 1v2 situation. Both of these players have a line of sight on me. I am not going to win this fight. But knowing the, how quick the Renetti kills, my thought process is I can get one down and then I can run down the stairs and get away. So we go and in my mind, I thought I was well beyond below the stairs and out of line of sight, but I would bet money that the other player was running a Renetti. The Renetti is as an insanely fast time to kill right now. Hopefully it's nerfed soon. And unfortunately I go down, but that is a classic situation of I should have not taken that fight. I should have simply as soon as I saw two people, I should have just ran and not even tried to take that fight. But it's all good because I was able to buy a loadout early on. Now I get to land back on the public loadout. That public loadout drops with 15 seconds left in the first zone. So we get it and we're right back in the action. Now, I before I go full sending and try to fight more teams, I need to get some plates, need to get some ammo. End up finding an ammo box. That's great. But I want to keep looting a little bit, get a few plates, that way we're ready to kind of fight uh, if needed. Just want to say really quick, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, guys, please consider dropping a like, subscribing for more content like this. We do lots of loadout videos, settings, guide to get better, all that stuff, and we stream here right on YouTube also, by the way. So I'm going to go back just a tad because I did see an enemy here, and I want to break this down briefly. There's going to be an enemy over here in the harbor area who is going to jump right here into the water. Not sure why he's going in the water, to be honest. And we also have an enemy landing in. Now, right at this moment, I had just heard a audio cue to directly to my right, like a ripple in the water. So I look and there is actually a player down here swimming. Um, but knowing how the water works, you have to be very close to the surface in order for you to be able to do damage. Try to get a live ping, but I'm not able to. I hear him climbing up the ladder and we have another enemy back here. End up hitting good shots with the Holger uh, 5.56, a very underrated gun, by the way. Use our throwing knives to, to conserve some ammo. We're good to go here. Now I'm keeping an eye out. Is this guy gonna be coming up over here that I just saw? Doesn't seem so. But I have a nine grand at the moment and I'm right by UAV. So I'm gonna throw a smoke on the buy station so that I don't get shot in the back. And I end up making, not a mistake here, I buy a UAV, but during this game, there was a bug where all kill streaks were not working, which is super unfortunate. Because if your goal is to drop high kill games, one of the key things is having cash flow and being able to constantly pop UAVs so you know where the majority of the lobby is. So I just wasted six grand. But I can buy a portable radar, which is only two grand, and just and functions almost as good as a UAV. And I get a ping on my level behind me which I would have known about otherwise. So I throw that, hit a little side cancel, easily kill this guy with the Renetti. And again, now we're right back in it. His teammate was pinging pretty far away uh, ahead of me on my level. Now doing a little uh, uh, inventory management here. Don't need to carry extra ammo, of course. What I'm looking for is I saw that the um, redeploy was coming down and actually about to stab me in the face. So I'm going to use that so we can kind of get back into the action and try to find where the hot spot, spot of the mat is, map is because there are still 28 players up. This is a pretty healthy lobby right now. So we're scanning the area. And if you see, I end up seeing this guy right here on the roof. So as I'm landing, I'm obviously not going to just full send and land right next to him because I'm just going to get shot because of that time it takes to cut your parachute and gather yourself and land. So I'm gonna land away from him where I have cover in between us. So I'm gonna land right about here where I can use this wall as cover. So we get to the wall, live ping. Again, here's why live ping. If you can train yourself to live ping during these fights, because I literally can see where he's coming. I know he's about to peak. And I, I could see him going back, but at the end he started pushing back this way. So notice how my crosshair is centered right where he's about to be. Now, I don't know if you saw, there were two 
uh, dots that pinged right below me, which were his teammates. And here comes number one. So we get the crack. Now, this is a little risky. I knew that there were two pings here. At this moment, I only see one player. So I'm like, ah, I just cracked this guy's armor. Now's my chance. I have momentum. Let's go and get this kill. But here comes the second guy right here. And I end up getting super lucky here, to be honest, because he lands just in front of me. Able to get the kill with Renetti. Use the throwing knife to get the finish. That way, in case this guy reach house, I have plenty of ammo. But here's the thing. I try to see, is he in here? No. He obviously must have went up this way. He could have got through here, but probably wouldn't have time. He went up this way. Now, this is where I need to really harp on this because I have sold a lot of good games by doing this. When you get over aggressive and you start chasing someone where you're just following them along their same route, it's very easy for them to get plated up, turn around, and just wait on you and kill you. So I'm like, don't do that. Don't be dumb and chase. Reload all of our guns, plate up, get situated here, and take a different angle. So we're going to go around. Got to double check that nobody's in here. We're going to work from a slightly different angle. Again, playing nice and slow, seeing is anyone here. And I, I don't know if you saw, I just saw a guy kind of run by this way for just a brief moment. So again, that's why I'm playing nice and slow. Slide cancel. We start to center where I think an enemy might be during just the center of the hallway. Happened to be a perfect center. Get two pings above me. So I'm instantly looking, okay, where are these guys? Are they above me? Don't see anyone. Gonna use a little bit of a jump spot here and get up so I can be on higher ground. Higher ground generally always an advantage. Again, we're slide canceling around every corner, trying to center. And uh, unfortunate. Let me break this there down because I in. almost won this gunfight with some movement. So this guy, I don't notice him right here. This guy is going to start peeking out right here in this, in this doorway. And I do not see him right now. I don't see him until right there, until he fully comes out. Now, I probably should have just tried to shoot with the Renetti. But what I wanted, and I this is just a weird spot. I don't have good cover to work off of. And I this is like one of those awkward fights where it's a little too long for my Renetti because Renetti, it has a little bit of recoil. So what my thought process was, was I'm going to slide around here and use the cover to my left and switch and try to win this gunfight. So we switch, and I end up hitting a perfect slide cancel, and I just lose the gunfight. It's unfortunate, it is what it is. Sometimes you're going to lose the people that are just camping like that. This guy is sitting in a cell with a interstellar Renetti. Good for him. Sometimes stuff like that happens and it's simply out of your control. Now, what I want to preach about here, though, is do not get mad and full send back on your stuff because you're going to die because that guy's literally camping right where I died. Instead, be smart. Go land somewhere else. Go find some loot. And it's not that hard, especially in solos, to find some money and be able to buy another loadout. Now, as I do, this guy is happens to be running here. We somehow, despite two shots from the KV inhibitor, do not down him. But I've got a striker that I'm landing in with. So he runs right in front of me. We get the kill. Going to take his money and take some of his loot. Now, I almost have money to buy another loadout. I'm already at 6K now. So trying to figure out, are there people over here? Resurgence just closed. Pretty small zone and still a very healthy lobby of 24 people already. So I'm just playing slow. I'm like, okay, is anybody around me? The chances of someone being in this building are pretty high with how small this zone is. Just trying to see, is anybody going to come out playing nice and slow? Am I safe to go to the buy station? I don't know. But then bam, as I start to push up, here comes this guy running on this roof. So I notice him late and we're going to switch to the long range gun, cut off the angle and then start to pre him as best as I can. Get the kill. I'm going to go with kind of more into cover before I go loot him. going to take his money. Now I've got his guns, his perks, and I've got money for a loadout. This guy had okay guns. He had a striker, nothing super good. So I'm going to instead much rather buy my own loadout, have my own perks, equipment, all that good stuff here. So as we're waiting for the loadout to come down, I did pick up a Renetti from someone else. But again, I'm still going to grab my own loadout. Now Resurgence is disabled here, and I need to see what zone is going to do. Again, I have to clear my backside here i'm on the short end of zone so there could be someone lurking at the edge of chemical so i'm trying to make sure is anybody behind me hearing the beeping from flex prox mine again checking my surroundings checking behind me doesn't seem like anyone's behind me but again we've talked about high ground several times in this video 
Whenever you have an opportunity to take high ground, that's generally the better option here. So I don't want to play down at Harbor. I'd rather get up near prison, which I know there's going to be people up here with how healthy this lobby is and prison just being always a hot drop. Now, I don't normally like going up on the water tower, but because I, I just saw a ping up here, because of the way this ladder is oriented, I can climb up here and they can't see me. So we're going to climb all the way up. We check. Don't see anyone up here at the moment. Now we looked. Actually, there was somebody right there. I did not realize that. We look down and there is a guy right here. I try to mount, but when it mounts, I get like that, that block where I can't look down anymore. So we unmount, get a live ping to see kind of through the smoke a little bit better. Pick up two kills here. Reload here. Now, this guy never turned around for one simple reason, because I am using a suppressed weapon. I go back and forth. I do like using like the Cassis break and a lot of my ARs, but I think having a suppressed AR especially is so good for situations like this because this guy is oblivious that I'm behind him because I'm using a suppressed weapon. So bam, we pick up three quick kills with the Holger. Huge because now I kind of have this area of the map on hold, but now we have to start looking at the zone here. Zone is going to be pulling completely away from prison. So generally when I'm like, okay, high ground is great. I There's no reason for me to take high ground up on prison here. And I don't want to be stuck up here because the last thing I want is someone to be over here waiting on me and they can just fry me as I try to rotate the zone. So I am going to go over here, try to loot this, these guys stuff, get some extra plates. I can't grab the mortar because again, like I said, the kill streaks were bugged during this game. When I hear someone above me, so notice how I go right up against the wall. We break any line of sight. That way, if they heard me, they would have to really peek over and extend themselves. So I'm looking up, don't see anyone. Now, remember how I talked about stowing the gas mask. So now I have to bring it out and we're gonna put it on so that I can, because basically when resurgence disa it disables, that's usually the time where I'm like, okay, I just need to put the gas mask on. So that way I'm not dealing with it like in a last minute situation and having to, to put it on then. So. Because I know somebody is up here on prison, what I just talked about earlier, I wanna catch them rotating. So I'm gonna rotate ahead just a little bit here, find a piece of cover to work off. We get to the truck and we start looking and here is one player and actually there was two. Now at this point, I'm like, I don't know if they saw me or not. So I'm gonna just slowly peek this. Gas is moving. And this guy definitely saw me. He's looking right at me, but we hit better shots. We get a clean down cause I'm playing off cover. Now I'm trying to see is, where the, he has to move, the zone is moving. So I had a quick reload off. I'm trying, I'm kind of playing a, a game in my head. Do I have time to plate? And I, I probably waited too long. I probably should just played it right away, but we throw a plate on, we catch them jumping. This guy never replated, so only a few bullets. And this guy is just like, ah, I don't know what to do. Get him. Okay, again, zone is still moving. I have to keep moving down, but I don't have to, I kind of want to like work down slowly and make sure nobody's making a late rotate up here because I don't want to be again fighting from the low ground. I want to always fight from the high ground if I can. So I'm working down here. I'm trying to just take my time and clear and see is anybody down here? No, I think I'm good. If there were people here looking at me, I would have smoked, but I want to try to conserve my smoke grenades. I only have one and smoke grenades are crucial in end game. So we're going to jump in here now. I looted a smoke grenade, but I also look back and I see, oh, there's another smoke there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop one of my plates. I don't need that many plates for this. And I'm gonna stow by hitting down on the D-pad to have three smoke grenades, just because again, smokes are so crucial when you have to make crazy rotations here. So now I get a amazing zone pool here. This is, there's absolutely some luck involved here, but if it would have pulled the complete opposite of way, again, I have a gas mask and I have three smoke grenades. It would not have been that hard for me to smoke, 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 and go the other way if I had to. But because of this, I know I need to start looking to get holds. I know the entire lobby has to be that way. So I wanna to try to hold everyone here. Now at this point, I'm like, ah, that window is not a bad spot, but I know getting on this roof would be a much better spot. Yeah, I wanna think about again. positioning more here. I try to get up, I fall down like a dummy. I start getting shot in the back, play it safe, get behind cover, smoke. Now with the smoke, I can move. We can mantle up, throw a plate on here. We always wanna go into a, a fight fully plated. Now we have amazing cover to work off of. I have all of these holds. I have a high ground. I have beautiful cover and we're just going to fry basically everyone because everyone has to come right to me simply because I had a great positioning, way better positioning than everybody else. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. 
Thank you so much for watch watching. I can't talk, and we'll see you in the next one.